Hello everyone, how are you? I just wanted to share some tools that I have been using in my virtual teaching and tutoring practice. I work with students from about second grade through eighth grade, so this, these are tools that are really working for me. I hope they help you. And if you have tools to share back to me, I would love to learn too. First and foremost, I want my students when I'm working with them to be focused and active and engaged. So I was working with a student and I was trying to convey to this student how to inference. And then the idea hit me that I could use some signing to really help him to grasp or hold on to the tool that I was trying to teach. Take these two fingers and put them out in front of you. Okay, so this finger is, is basically all the information in the text. And this information is all the information that you know about the topic from somewhere else. It could be from your own experience, it could be from the text. And an inference is when we put them together and we make an educated guess about the situation. So he learned that and he learned it a couple of days ago. And today we were working and I was trying to remind him of how to make an inference. And he stuck his two fingers out and he's like, I know it has something to do with this. And so I kind of cued him up and, and he remembered it. By signing and making, <clears throat> making hand movements, the student was able to remember the tool that I was trying to teach. I worked with Zoom as the you know, medium for producing lessons. I'm on Pro and you can not only share your screen, but you can also share your mouse with the student. So again, if you want them to be active, you can turn over your mouse over to the student and engage with them in that way. There are a couple of other resources that I've just learned about and I've been experimenting with, which have been really fun. One of them is Boom Cards. So Boom Cards are a series of cards that have different functions and you can purchase some that are there or you can also make some of your own. And this has been really fun for some of my students to use. Smart Exchange is another tool that I've been using. So these are uh, smart board applications where you can go on and share different smart board tools. There was one that I was using today in math and we were categorizing numbers as prime and composite. So the student could actually again take the mouse over and move the numbers in the different categories and then there was a celebration because it was a game so it was really nice and interactive. I have also been using some of the forms in Google Docs to give students quizzes and quick questions that I really just want to see kind of where they're at with their understanding of certain things so that's another really good tool that you can put into a Google Doc. You can put a form link and then have your student take a quick quiz just to assess whether they understand something. Padlet is another great resource. It is a wall or a template. You can also use it for planning. And so if you want your child to have a visual schedule, you can use Padlet. You can also link to certain other links. So I use it for my lessons. In the beginning of the lesson, you can just go on Padlet and you'll see the progression of what we're going to do. All of the links are already there. So I don't have to go looking around for them, which has really been great. Last thing I just wanna say is that I think it's really helpful if you do need to have any supplies or things for your lesson that you just send an email the night before so the parents can get ready for those things. So if you need paper or pencils or markers or highlighters or books or anything of that kind or anything printed out, that would be something just to plan ahead of, ahead of time for. And anything that you can also do to minimize the work that parents have to do to execute the lesson, I think is another really good tip because we're all undergoing a lot of work and we're trying to make sure our, not only our work is done, but our kids are taken care of, their learning's going well, our house is being cared for, all of the things that we have to do. So anything to minimize the on demand time for parents, I think right now is really, really helpful too. If you have other tools you're using in this space, we would love to learn from you too. And I will see you soon. Thanks.